Sorry, I'm late. You look angry at me. What's wrong? I got bullied in school today. I'm trying to control my anger. What? You were bullied? This is a serious problem. I'm so angry, Ben. And this isn't the first time they've done this to me. But this time, they have gone too far. They pushed me around, took my money, called me names. They really humiliated me. Oh, Amir, I wish I'd been there for you. I would have punched. Violence isn't the answer, Ben. If I had fought back, I would become just like them. Yeah, guess you're right. But sometimes, standing up to bullies, we make them to back off. But then again, you could end up in an intensive care unit. Or it could be worse. You know what, Ben? This reminds me of Mr. Greystone from the novel Potato People. Mr. Greystone was a big bully and a very cruel man. He treated the villagers of Skaldarath in a very bad way. I feel like someone from that village. Relax, Amir. Your situation is not as bad as that. But I know how you feel. Uh, Ben, what makes a person a bully? Hmm, good question. I think bullies are insecure people. People who are not happy with what or who they are. So these bullies take it out on people who are smaller or weaker than them. Maybe bullying makes them feel strong or powerful. But the truth is that they are the biggest coward. Yeah, they're the biggest coward. What do you think makes a person a bully? In my opinion, bullies usually, usually happen in schools whereby students like to bully others because they want to gain popularity by exaggerating their ability so that other students will be afraid of them. Um, I mean, in, turn, in the schools, probably kids, yeah, um, probably they will feel that um, they, are, they have an ego, they want to show it that uh, they, um, they are an adult, they want to bully others to show that they have the power, that's what I think. Bullies is one way to attract attention actually, but it's a very lame way. Um, for me, bullies are people who want to gain respect just the, in the simplest way because they cannot prove anything from themselves. So by bullying people, they can gain respect. Poor Ami. I didn't think that bullying would be such a problem in our school or, or in our country for that matter. Ah, that's where you're wrong, Yaya. You should read a little more. I read an article written by a mission professor about bullying. Hmm. Poor boy, he killed himself because he couldn't stand the pressure of being bullied by a group of senior students. They blackmailed him into giving them 38,000 ringgit. And do you know what he did? He stole the money? Exactly. He stole from his parents. He finally committed suicide because he couldn't stand the pressure anymore. Oh, Ben, that is so sad. It is. To think that he was only a Form 1 student. Then again, victims of bullying usually are younger and unable to defend themselves. Do you know what I think? I think that peer pressure is the main reason that students change their behavior and become bullies. I mean, sometimes when someone wants to become part of a group and belong, they tend to just go along and do whatever their friends do. So if the group is into bullying, this new member becomes a bully too. So how do we turn peer pressure off? How do we get the students to be responsible? How do we encourage them to love and care for one another? To me, it has to start at home. Parents should learn to recognize changes in their children's behavior. People always put their blame on school and I don't think it's unfair. I agree with you, Ben, but where can the bully go to get help? I think that they should not suffer in silence. They should talk to their parents, an elder brother or sister or the school counsellor to get help. Hmm, how do we put a stop to bullying? Parents, teachers and the public have to work together. Parents and teachers alike have to be more approachable. Then children will be willing to tell them when they are being bullied. I think we should start an anti-bully club. Yeah, why not? I'm going to be the first person to volunteer since one of my best friends has become a bully victim. Yes. 
Should parents take action if their children are victims of bullying? Of course they should. If they don't, a kid can't defend himself. The kids by left alone are lost. And they, they can really have really very bad effects in school, in their health, in everything, in their development. So if the parents don't help, they have to find out. I mean, I know if my kid doesn't eat anymore, or if my kid doesn't sleep anymore, or gets bad grades. So I have to find out the reason for this. To help their friend deal with the problem of being bullied, Yaya, Hana, and Ben have taken the initiative to make pamphlets for students on how to tackle bullying. They got permission from the headmaster and then went around the school distributing the pamphlets. They even posted some of their pamphlets in bus stops and in nearby shops. They received positive feedback from their schoolmates for their effort in helping to make people aware of the problem. All three of them felt good about what they had done. Perhaps you can do something like this in your school. Here are some possible signs of bullying. Are you frightened of walking home alone? Are you afraid of going to school? Do you feel ill in the morning? If bullying goes on for a long time, it can make you feel depressed, like you are not good at anything, shy, you find it hard to talk to other people, threatened, have you ever thought of running away or even worse, attempting suicide? Why do bullies do it? Although lots of bullies may seem very confident, they are not. Something may have happened to them that turned them into bullies. Maybe they get bullied by other children in school. Maybe they do not like themselves very much. Maybe they want to make themselves look tough.
are insecure people, people who are not happy with what or who they are. These bullies take it out on people who are smaller or weaker than them. Bullying makes bullies feel strong and powerful, but the truth is that they are the biggest cowards. past tense to talk about actions that happened and finished in the past, that is before now. We change the main verb in the sentence to show that the action had been completed at some time before the present. Words and phrases like yesterday, this morning, last night and a few minutes ago tell us that a sentence is in the simple past tense. Regular verbs in the simple past tense and with an ED. Irregular verbs do not. They either change their vowels, become new words, or remain unchanged. They pushed me around, took my money, called me names. They really humiliated me. He treated the villagers of Skagara in a very bad way. I read an article written by a mission professor about bullying. They blackmailed him into giving them 38,000 ringgit. He stole from his parents. Here are some words that you heard in the program. Listen to these words being pronounced. Bullying, bullying, humiliated, humiliated, pressure, pressure, 
Insecure. Insecure. Suicide. Suicide. Hi there. It's time to go online again. As usual, I will show you how to source information on the internet. Today, we are going to look for websites that deal with bullying. Here goes. First, click on the Internet Explorer. Then, do your word search. Type in bullying and wait for the search engine to find the websites. Aha! Here we are. There are so many of them. Hmm. I think I should try this. No. Um. Yes. Let's try this one out. It's www.bully.online.org. Oh yes, you could also surf the website to look for books on bullying. I've actually found some of them. Write these titles down and then go back to your search engine to see who the authors and publishers are in case you want to buy them. Here they come. Bully Insight. How to predict, resist, challenge and combat workplace bullying by Team Phil. Secondly, also by the same author, Tim Peel, and Neil Marr, Bullicide, Death at Playtime. And lastly, Post Traumatic Stress Disorder by David Kinshin. another mind map for you. It will help summarize what you have learned about bullying. Why do people become bullies? They are insecure people. They feel strong when they bully others. They are not happy with what or who they are. They are cowards. Peer pressure. Where should the bully go to get help? Parents Friends Brothers and sister Counselors How do we stop bullying? Parents, teachers and the public have to work together. Are you being bullied? Do you feel ill in the mornings? Are you becoming withdrawn? Are you afraid of going to school? Do you come home with damaged clothes or books? Say no to bullies. You have to fight the ones who bully other kids. It's not fair. Say no to bullies. Say no to bullies. Bullying must stop. 
we do not need it and we do not want in our schools or in our society. The young people of today will become tomorrow's leaders. So we need to learn how to love and care for one another. So if you have been bullied or know someone who is, do something about it. Tell your teacher, school counselor, your parents, or report it to the police. No one deserves to be bullied. Let us all say no to bullying. Don't bully and don't allow yourself to be bullied. Bye for now, and I'll see you in the next series.